When I asked Ed Dickens what he thinks about when he's running this 650 ton, 7,000 horsepower locomotive, when he does manage to relax a little bit, he does occasionally think of Chuck Mangione's tune, Feel So Good. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Gene Picorni. I'm a foamer for the Union Pacific Railroad. I'm a card-carrying member of the Three Stooges Fan Club. And on weekends, I play tuba with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. In late summer of 2021, uh, I was invited to play Return of the Jedi with the San Diego Symphony. I wanted to sound my best. I brought the best tuba that I have access to. That is the Chicago Symphony's York tuba. When I was out in Southern California, I decided I wanted to pick up these vintage instruments that were made by Larry Minnick. So uh, Nancy Matheson, close friend of mine, decided it would probably be a good idea to rent a van and crammed all these instruments into the van and I headed across to Chicago. But then I realized I could stop in Cheyenne, Wyoming and see the big boy locomotive, the most amazing, largest, biggest locomotive on, on the planet, 17 and a half feet high, 7,000 horsepower, 135 feet long, big. <laughs> I called up my college roommate, George, met him in Denver, and then we trekked two hours north, and we met up there with uh, Jim Ehrenberger, one of the great railroad photographers of all time, and he arranged for us to get into the roundhouse, into the steam shop, and be with Ed Dickens. Ed Dickens is the main guy who runs the Union Pacific Heritage Program, who runs all the steam locomotives, and he's the one who put together the renovation program for the big boy, which had been taken out of the fairgrounds in Pomona, California, deadheaded to Cheyenne, and had the incredible assignment of having to get it back into shape, back into working order, after 60 years of sitting out in the weather. And essentially, he had to make it a brand new locomotive in time for the sesquicentennial, the 150th anniversary of the joining of the rails, which occurred on May 10th, 1869. And it was Ed Dickens and his tremendous team uh, that put together uh, this, this big boy locomotive, this behemoth of a locomotive. Got some great pictures of the 1941 big boy locomotive and the 1938 original York tuba all in one frame. When I asked Ed Dickens what he thinks about when he's running this 650 ton, 7,000 horsepower locomotive, he said, well, he can't really think about too much else besides just keeping the thing uh, safely on the tracks. But when he does manage to relax a little bit, he does occasionally think of Chuck Mangione's tune feel so good. So that's the tune that uh, Scott Sutherland and I recorded for, uh, for this video. Thank you to the Union Pacific Railroad and for the smart decision to hire Ed Dickens as their head of, of heritage operations. They could find nobody better to have in that position. He's incredible. That's why this should be dedicated to Ed and the reverence that he has for his crew is pretty amazing. It's really, really special. Really special. And you can tell him the way he talks about it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm.